Hi and welcome to this Zenworks video. We're going to take a look at the new enhanced remote management capabilities of the join proxy in Zenworks 11 SP3. The join proxy is a new primary and satellite server role that can be applied to one of your servers and put in the DMZ. Once you've done that, administrators can now remote manage devices that are outside the corporate network, even behind a NAT or double NAT. Essentially what the join proxy is, is a server that sits in the middle and when the two devices connect, it can bridge those two together. So as long as your administrator can access the same device as your managed device, they can both hit that same server, then you'll be able to remote control. This does rely on the Zenworks agent to be functional, so when the machine comes up, it's going to go in and communicate with that primary server to let it know, hey, I'm here out on the internet, so it can remote control. Let's take a look at how this works. What I have here is a Zenworks 11 SP3 console, and the first thing that you'll notice is if you go over to the configuration page and you select a location, in my case I've done this on both the unknown location as well as on my own home network, on the servers tab you actually have a new snapshot called join proxy servers. And what this allows you to do is say when I detect that you're at this location, in this case I know I've got NAT at my house so if I want to get to my devices I'll need it. I've also done this on unknown so if I go to anywhere else like a hotel I would be able to access those as well. It says I want to go ahead and use that for remote control. What will happen now is on refresh the agent will determine that a join proxy server has been configured. Uh, if you just use the defaults, all primary servers act as join proxies, or you can also, when you add a satellite server, you can control the join proxy role here and configure that. You can control what port it listens on, number of connections, and then the connection polling interval. Once that's done, then the device will be remote controllable. So I've got a machine here, my AD server, and you'll notice its address is a 10 dot address. This means it's behind a NAT on a private network, and my device that I'm on right now is actually in the office while this machine is at my house behind my normal NATed gateway. Normally, with Zenworks 11 SP2 or earlier, I wouldn't be able to remote control this device because it would try to reach out to that 10.1 address and would be unable to do so. Now that I've got the join proxy, I can hit remote control and you'll notice on the options here that it's automatically selected the route through join proxy option because it knows that that device is currently talking to the proxy. So I'll go ahead and click OK and you'll see it actually connects and I'm now remote controlling that device at my house. If I take a look in the agent properties here you'll see that the join proxy is showing as my server and that's how I know that I've got an active connection and if I go to the servers page you can see the join proxy permissions as well here. So with this new capability, you now have the ability to reach out and help your users, whether they're behind single NATs, double NATs, as long as both your device and their device can hit a server on the internet, you're going to be able to remote control that device. Hopefully you'll find this useful. This is Jason Blackett, the Zen Guru, signing off.